Tennessee out of the box. Out of the box. What do you think of that name? Out of the box. Out of the box. Like the the, the box? Any way you want to interpret it.
Yeah, getting inside of the box is good. <laughs> inside the box. <laughs> you know how many people would search that shit? Think they ever see porn? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> inside the box with Ken, Guy, and Troy. <laughs> Look at this vagina. Just have a hairy box. <laughs> no, no, no. You know what we do? We, we get a box, right? It's gonna be fucking white as shit here in a couple man, years. Dude, I guarantee it. We don't care. Oh, dude, I'm fucking white hair. Yeah, people, I mean, people, 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 people with red hair, they don't have like any gray. They are just like, you know, like that patch I got on the side That's of my right. face? We're, that shit turns fucking we're straight we're fucking white. silver fuckers over here. I'm gonna be silver. Yeah, like. I look exactly the same as I always have. I know. I don't think I've ever... It's disgusting. <laughs> this is me all. <laughs> I've looked... Ex- and then, as much as I've abused myself, <laughs> I think I've done some fucked up shit to myself. I think we all have, but... Yeah. That's not a you nor there. I'll be like 50s. I'll be like George, like George Clooney. So who's that? Uh, okay, other than that. Okay, okay anyway. Somebody no, needs to call no, out of the no. box. Uh, you like out of the box. What do you like? I mean, if if nobody if nobody's taking it, I mean, out of the box this is perfectly fine. It fits what we're doing, and it's a good search algorithm. What do you got? Unboxing right. ideas kind of. To be honest with you, sounds kind of. Doesn't sound very provocative. Yeah, so I, mean, I, I can see a little more fire coming behind this. So out of the box of the deal. Yeah, it's more fun. It's more what we're in tune with what we're going to do. So we're just going to be firing shit at each other. No, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be right back. I know you got your fucking dudes. You can do whatever. Bored. <laughs>
going to Break the Boy? Or what are we talking about? I, was, uh, I thought I thought I was going. I thought I was, mine was my first one was the other one about Afghanistan. So, anyways, my second idea was how if you think about, if you look, look up every single one of Alex Jones conspiracy theories, oh god, here we go, here we go, how every single one of them eventually becomes true. Example. Uh, eating cloned beef. Like GMO. Turning frogs gay. The government turning frogs gay. Did they really do that? Did, yeah. They're using pesticides, and the pesticides turn frogs gay. That was the basis. So, uh, obviously, he, he always ele- elaborates, and he goes fucking, he, he turns things like fucking crazier than they actually are. And, and that's an entertainment thing. But, they're using pesticides... That actually turns male frogs into female frogs. Okay, so you're telling no, that's that's not you know turning frogs gay. That's you're, that's true. transforming the sexual all right, organs all right. of a Bohemian Grove. He was the first oh one. Oh God! I knew this was coming. He, he brought up. He brought up the. He was the first one that started bringing up Bohemian Grove shit. And guess what? Green check mark. Bohemian Grove <laughs> is true. Okay, so when you say turning <coughs> frogs gay, you're not talking about a male frog banging male frogs now. Or female frogs I mean, out a female it, frog. Look, okay, here's my point of view. If you, even if you are considered a female right now, if you have a vagina, if you were born a man, you're still a man. Well, that's not true. That, that, There's hermaphrodites. That's true. There's, but that, how much of the population we're talking about point zero 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 one percent of the That's population. True. But it doesn't um, matter because you also have people that also get genes that are more feminine. They could be a man. That, all the parts. That, 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 that doesn't that doesn't mean anything. Do you, yeah, it does. It's genetic makeup. Okay, so then in that case, uh, if you were born with a fucking dick, doesn't mean you're. Some you are dick. always a fucking man. But you're not masculine. Okay. That, that, that's true. What um. My question would be this: um, Have you spoken to the transgender community about this? That's a that's. I don't a need to speak disorder. to anybody. That's a mental <laughs> disorder that everybody is playing out of it to make money. It is. It's literally a psychi- yeah. psychiatric disorder that everybody's playing along with. I mean, I'm I'm not. Look, if you if you wanna if you wanna pretend that you're one sex or another. Or if you want to pretend you're a fucking Apache helicopter running around through a fucking field, right. spinning around, go ahead and do it. I don't give a shit. Don't but don't shit. ask, It'll don't be. ask me to pretend yeah. that you're something that you are not, right. and everybody fucking knows it. I'm not playing these little fucking games. Delusional with you. fucking reality games. It's like that's not how it works. Science is science yes. for a reason. Yes. But but guess what? Uh oh, now we're gonna go really okay. off a fucking cliff here. Now we're really gonna go off a fucking cliff. Now I got him, he's ready. Now go. we're fucking going. Here we go. Grinds his gears. Come I on. mean, <laughs> listen. Tell us how you really feel. When you're looking, I mean, this is just from a song, and, and it's the most obvious fucking thing. If you're looking for life on Mars, and you're finding bacteria, bacteria is proof of life on Mars. Not necessarily. They find bacteria on the NASA, NASA space shuttles and that, shit on the windshield. That's life. Right, but Bacteria it's all is throughout life. the galaxy. But it, Well, then by that case, life can exist in zero vacuum space. Yes, it floats through zero vacuum space. And it is still, a, but is it dead by the time it reaches? No, they got these little things, they call them uh, something bears. And what we did was we accidentally took them to the moon. Bears, like gummy bears? No, you can, they're, they're, they got like six legs, and they look like a little, like, pig. Bear doesn't have six legs. Well, they're, it's not the real name of them, but they call them something bears. Okay. And every time we go to the moon, we take that with us. And they're living on fucking the moon right now. And they don't need our atmosphere to live. They can fucking... So we're trying to populate the moon with these... On accident. Bears. On accident. 
Oh, so it wasn't intentional? No. <laughs> it was just like when the sack got They just hitched a ride. So it, then when some like giant, like fucking, like, uh, you know, bear riding a unicycle with fucking six arms and legs and shit fucking rolls up on them. They're ugly got the fuckers. Them, they're like, what the They're fuck? microscopic, but they fucking live in space and they, they, they can live in like anything. I did not know that. Yes. And they can live coming back into the atmosphere. Right. How can they survive a 3,000 degree burn? I don't understand that. Yeah. I mean, no goddamn fucking uh, battle roach can fucking survive apparently yeah, a fucking yeah, nuclear yeah. blast. And then you got bacteria that lives in those fucking uh, fumes from the fucking... In like, the sea? No, like, from like the... From the uh, booster rocket... You know, like, you know how, like, they have those, uh, sulfuric places that are, like, uninhabitable to, like, every other life form, but there's bacteria that live in that yeah. water. The, the, the life, life is more resilient in general than, than you believe, life but, but only morally in, in, uh, microscopic form. Right, right, like, a complex being like us, right. we need specific things to live, right. but something that is, like, doesn't have as many molecules and shit like we do, mm -hmm. can live throughout space and not die. So, maybe that's what we need? It's possible. That, I mean, that's a, obviously, it's, a, it's possible that we, we this, this planet was like a blank slate with right. nothing fucking on it. We came down on a fucking meteor or a fucking asteroid or whatever the fuck yep. came down and we just became... It's, it's actually like... I don't, I don't know if this is true or not, but I, I remember reading or watching something where there was zero fucking water on this earth, and almost all the fucking water from this earth came from foreign sources. Probably. It was all volcanic and shit. It was almost like a, uh, a comet or a meteor or something right. impacting the surface. And right, melting. and now 70% of the earth's surface is now water. We also have the asteroid belt. Yeah, the asteroid belt was something well, at some time. Well, I mean, it, uh, yeah, because uh, it, I mean, I believe it was yeah. another planet that you know, like a, a meteor or something. Yeah. Or well, the only reason why something we're big like, fucking hit an asteroid and something and it blocks exploded. us really and well. Then it, over time, it just got all spread out into right. the belt because it still has the gravitational, from the sun. you know, or rotation from the sun. I don't. I don't remember hearing. Anything about that? I know that I've heard. They taught us that shit in school. Yeah, yeah. Well, it also feeds into the Anunnaki. Have you ever heard of the Anunnaki? Well, if you listen to the shit they it. fucking teach us in school, have you ever heard of the Anunnaki? I don't believe so. <laughs> have you ever heard of the Anunnaki? No. So there's a, a planet, apparently, because most suns are bi solar, bi bilingual, not bilingual, but there's usually two suns in each solar system. So. Apparently, every, like, thousands of years, another sun rotates into our solar system. And the Anunnaki... That would be the end of... That would be the end of... Uh, well, everything. just hang on. So the Anunnaki created us as slaves. These are... This is from the, uh... uh the Book of Mormon? No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> what the Scientology? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, no, no, no. The ancient fucking... Uh, civilization. Uh, Sumerians or Somalians or... The, uh, Sumerians, yeah. Sumerians, the ancient Babylonians, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these people talked about the Anunnaki. They came and they used humans as slaves to harvest gold for them because their atmosphere, every time it rotates around this planet Nibiru, they would get humans. Where are they from now? Sumeria? No, Nibiru. Where, where's Nibiru? Nibiru's are, are uh, apparently the 10,000 light year. It takes like 23,000 years for this planet to rotate back around. That sounds like fucking Stargate. Well, every Time other jumps. every other uh, star system has a binary solar system in it, besides ours. That's what science Well, I mean, is. you have to have something for, you know, uh, gravity and rotation to right. flow around. Right. So this, this it's almost like a oval shape. This fucking so other solar system rotates so well, there's all, way, way yeah. shape too. I know, but this one's connected.
connect, there's another sun in our solar system that's connected. Here. And yeah, yeah. let me ask you a question. Do you know the reason that it is oval shaped? It's because of the outside forces of the, of the galaxy know, trying. Yes, you know the other way. systems and everything like you know squeezing it instead of a pure circle into an oval. Right, right. And we also get like this, like a corkscrew. Let me ask you a question. Has Alex Jones talked about this? Jesus. Probably. I don't think he has, Nibiru? so it's never going to become true. Nibiru? Look it up. <laughs> I'm just joking. But anyway, these Anunnaki, they're like superior beings, right. and they created us to harvest gold because gold... So are, it fucking 100% sounds like Stargate. <laughs> so the gold... Can I get to the point here before I forget? Right. Okay. So the gold is harvest for one thing because their atmosphere is breaking down. So the, if you put gold into the atmosphere, it reflects the sun rays. And it keeps the atmosphere. Are they are they trying to f reflect them away or in? Well, they're trying to keep their that atmosphere be afloat. Because with gold, somehow gold reflects the light in a certain way to keep their atmosphere alive and well, so they don't die. Well, I'm not telling you a hundred percent that I don't believe what you're saying, but I feel like I need some crack to make it make sense. Okay, well, this was also an ancient <laughs> civilization, so... <laughs> I'm just fucking around. It's not my opinion, yeah. this is just written. In yeah. I, I, I just find, I find the whole... But I the find the whole that, idea and the, the need for gold to reflect sun rays. Well, that's and, true. And oh, all... that's true. That's why it's very important. Well, I mean, there seems like there's there should be like a hundred million different things that would be better at reflecting gold. No, gold is actually the exact thing you well, I mean, that's why I asked the question, are you trying to reflect the, you know, radiation or rays out, or are you trying to keep them in? I'm not exactly that, specific. I don't that know is the, you know, the monumental question there. But the fact that this old civilization wrote about this before any scientific evidence about gold reflecting light rays kind of begs the question, were they telling the truth or not? Because and they wouldn't have known also, that gold makes uh, a gold. I, Someone needs to look up when the ancient Sumerians were actually a civilization. A long fucking time. I know. I'm pretty sure, like, don't quote me on this, but I want to say, like, 2000 BC. I don't know. Probably, like, 15, 20,000 years ago. I would have no fucking clue. But it's just amazing yeah. that they knew that gold would reflect the rays from the sunlight. I don't know. The, only, the, atmosphere the, the only thing that really caught my attention on, like, ancient civilizations on on how they figured out to there there was a civilization that actually created power. Look up the Anunnaki. Yes. Uh, no, I'm I'm just uh, checking. Uh, not not dissimilar to the uh, to the uh, ability to use a potato to light a light bulb. Dude, they just found out that ancient Babylonians actually used the Pythagorean theorem. They just found. Well, the I, that, that has that. been a scientific principle that has been like in practice for like literally at this point in time like over 5,000 years. It, it, they had found a circle. That, let's be honest, the, the, the ancient Babylonians were probably by far at that time the most advanced civilization in the in the fucking world. And, and the biggest desecration is that is that all these ideologies uh, including including religious ideologies, just tear for, that will tear just for down. Clarification: um, uh, Ancient uh, Sumerians were between the sixth and fifth millennia BC, so five thousand and right. six thousand BC. Or actually, no. Wait, hold on. Have you ever heard of Pukuchu Chinku or Pukuchu Chinku? Uh, and their, like a, they, their writings date mm -hmm. back to between 